surely not. You're kidding me. You're actually... You're joking me! You're joking me! Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Thank... Thank God. No crash. Oh, thank God it didn't crash. I was going to be... I was going to be so annoyed. I was going to be so annoyed if my game crashed. Anyways, um, hello everyone. Welcome back to part two of my mining update stream. And apparently, well that's unfortunate, apparently according to the admins, uh, there wasn't even opal gemstones at all. Or the opal crystal at all. So, there you go. Uh, well, I wouldn't have started the stream had I known I'd been in. I would be in the queue for 200, 200 whole people. So this is going to be a bit of an unfortunate thing where I'm just going to have to, you know, yap for a bit. <laughs> going to have to yap a bit while I'm in queue unexpectedly uh this will be fun good evening good evening as van as vathan uh <laughs> this is this is brilliant I mean, 193rd in queue isn't too bad. It shouldn't take too long. See, I'm already 190th. How, how great is this? Peak content, I know. I mean... See, I just got on, and then it almost crashed. And then I got timed out somehow. And now I'm 200th in queue. It's just... That's just how it goes. It was a good investment before the mining update. I would say get as many perfect opals as you can and bejeweled handles. As many bejeweled handles and perfect opals as you can. Why opal? Because perfect opals uh, will require a crystal when this update comes out. Whereas now, you know, nowadays, before the up before this update, uh, they don't require crystal. So, yeah, make a lot of perfect opals. I mean, to be fair, the queue is going down quite quick. I don't get how the queue goes down. I don't know if people are just leaving the main server because I don't think they're making more capacity. So I don't exactly know how the queue goes down. I highly doubt people in front of me are, are leaving because they've been in queue for t so long. I, I don't really get how the queue thing works, to be honest. Or... More so that I don't get why, you know, it, uh, it goes so fast, but it is what it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the lobby. Do I jump? Maybe. 
But yeah, this is peak content. Peak. Ah, uh, no. As I was saying, as I was saying, oh, it goes quick. I don't know why it goes so quick. I'm going to be stuck in 165th for an hour, aren't I? Ah, no. No, the stream's going to be all Q. All Q and no content. No. <laughs> No, all Q and no content. Ah, oh, this sucks. I still have a chance. I still have a chance to end the stream. Ah. Uh, what do I do, chat? What do I do? Yep, it's going to be 165th forever now. God damn it. Just play on main. Yeah. Honestly, I do need to go on main to get as many bejeweled handles and opal crystals as I can. But I want to go on alpha. Because they... As ad, admin... Which admin was it again? Yeah, as Mr. Keith, my goat... Yeah. As Mr. Keith says. Uh, hold on. What do you say? Bro, question mark. Where was it? You'll now be able to get opal mine shafts. There are two. So this is what was missing before. We didn't have opal uh, mine shafts to even get opal crystals at all. Um, so that will be a thing that I will be doing, and hopefully getting an opal crystal, and then hopefully, you know, doing that talisman thing. How wonderful! Q, yes. I didn't expect to be in a queue. I was on the server when I started the stream. But I guess I'm in queue now. I'm guessing it's best to prep some materials for new equipment beforehand for when the update comes out. Yes. For Skyblock? No, for Alpha server. Hello, Penda. OMG, it's Makash. Indeed. Me for real. You know what was cool, though? Hold on. Hold on a minute. Look at this chat. I got into the server. I said, yippee. And then someone's like, Makash is in the server. I'm like, whoa. He knows. He knows it's me. He knows. He is not. He is of the knowledge of, of the Makash. 159th in queue. Let's go. Ah, uh, this is brilliant. So, how how has your days been, chat? How are things? How are things in general, chat? Do you guys like the new update? I like the new update. I mean, I like anything mining related, of course. I like that we've got new ores. I think it's a bit it's a bit weird that the Hearth of the Mountain or the new Hearth of the Mountain tiers are, you know, all to do with this specific area as opposed to like a, a general mining thing, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's inherently bad, I guess. You know? It'd be very helpful for new mining strategies that will be in that new area because you know stuff to do with the cold i mean i'd be a little bit concerned that too many of the perks are to do with powder but then you know having said that you also need a shit ton of powder to upgrade all the perks anyway key key thing with that one perk being 40 million powder Doing pretty good, didn't take a look at it yet. Yeah. 
I mean, one thing I guess you don't need to worry about with uh, this new mining update is your current set being behind as opposed to what you can get now. Because what you can, like, the only thing different really with what you can get now is a new necklace. I'd say that's like the main equipment difference, is that there's a new necklace that you need to be maxed. Maybe there's some other things I'm forgetting, but I'm pretty sure it's only the new necklace. I theorize that the new mining area has opal in it, where you can mine opal gemstones beside mining, besides mining opal in the smoldering tomb. Yeah, I think the update that they have just pushed to alpha for the, the up that they, uh, the update that they've pushed for this update is, um, I don't know whether they're going to have opal gems somewhere in the, in the thing. Maybe they will. But they'll uh, at le at the very least have opal mine shafts, which you know you would assume would mean that they would have an area to mine opal in at that point. But we shall see. We shall see when I get on the server. If you can mine opal, doesn't it mean it will go down? Uh, no, because you can already mine opal on the main server. Like, you won't be able to get more opal now that you wouldn't have been able to go to get now, if you get what I mean. Like, on alpha, you should probably be getting the same opal rates as you would be able to get on the main server. Um, probably. You might be able to get higher rates in the, uh, in the glacite tunnels, maybe. But the thing is with like mining opal, mining opal in the nether, you have to deal with the blazers. Uh, but mining opal in the glazeite tunnels, you have to deal with the cold. So neither are really stress free. Yeah. Well, not stress free, but downtime free, I guess. Uh, if I wanted to buy a divin straw yesterday, oh, I wanted to buy a divin straw yesterday, but the price has exploded. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a ripperoni. <laughs> Oh, hold on a second. You said the prices have exploded. I wonder what my net worth is then, because I have two different straws. Ah. Uh, according according to the net worth, but my net worth is pretty much the same. God damn it, man! My net worth can't even increase with these updates. God damn it! I have 600 mil, do I put it all in bejeweled handles? No. Although, I, I think you could probably put that money towards perfect opals. But I'm not going to say that perfect opals are going to definitely go up in price. I'm just saying that they, you know, it would be useful to get perfect opals um, before they make them harder to get. If they've already increased in price, then you know they're not going to increase in price more when the when the update comes out. I'll trust you with the opals. I'm not going to say I I don't think the update will make them go up in price. If they've already gone up in price on the main server, then they're not going to go up in price more when the update comes out. Um, I'm just saying it'd be useful to get opals before they uh, before they require a crystal. But yeah, only get as many opals as you think you may need. And how many opals do you need? Well, you'll need one for... Oh, I think if I got on the server, I could then see. But you definitely need at least one perfect opal for the, uh, the new talisman. Or the upgrade to the talisman, I guess. The relic. The relic of gamers. The relic of miners. I don't think you really need opal past that one thing, I think. Mm. 
I guess if you only really need one perfect opal, it's probably fine. You also need opals for the blaze daggers. You oh my fucking god! I you just reminded me I have perfect. I probably have perfect opals in my blaze daggers. So I don't need to find a perfect um, opal crystal. I can dupe. I can on alpha. I can take it out of my dagger, then dupe it using Centuri. And, you know, have perfect opals. The only thing I need then is uh, the Peridot one. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. I completely forgot about the Blaze Daggers and them having opals in them. I probably have a perfect opal in my Sorrow Armor or, or something else. I bet I even have a perfect, ah, uh, goddammit, I bet I have, like, a perfect opal somewhere in my fucking backpacks or something. Ugh. It doesn't matter. I I still need one more perfect um, gemstone, then. I need one perfect peridot. So I need to find a mineshaft that has a perfect peridot crystal in it. Is your gemstone powder maxed? Pretty much. If not very close. It's like 20 million. Although it's probably a little bit more. Maybe like 21, 22. I think max might be 23. But. Guess we shall see on alpha. Ah. Uh, it's so annoying. I was on alpha. I was there. I was there and then I got yeeted. I got kicked. I'm so sad, man. Ripperoni. Hundred and thirteen in Q. So close, but yet so far. Ah. I wonder what the Q is, just in general. <laughs> Hello, Nia. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm just waiting for Alpha. Are you trying to grow up? You're okay. I feel like this is... <laughs> yeah, this is a bot. It's a bot. No. Everyone on Twitch is a bot nowadays. It's a bot. <laughs> you, ever, you ever see someone talking about your channel? It's like, oh no, it's getting sus. It's getting sus. Oh no. Oh no. It's just, you see. Oh dear, you just... You go on Twitch, you just see them like, ah, oh, you just see them going like fucking, ah, oh, yes, I know, you want to, you want a banner for your channel? You want viewers or something? I don't know. The bots, man. The bots. It was all normal in the beginning. It was a high how's your day. And then it turned into bots.
You should untime me out in Mining Cult Discord, real. I don't have that power, man. <laughs> I'm not an admin. I'm not a moderator in Mining Cult. They should give me the powers, but none of the responsibility, you know? That's the, uh, that's what they should do. They should give me all of the abilities, but none of the responsibilities. I like the abilities much more than the responsibilities, of course, you know? Actually, uh, having to, to ban people? Nah. Well, being able to ban people, that's where it's at. 95th in the queue. Uh, uh, why? Why did I have to get queued? This sucks. Ugh. I'm breaking shit. Isn't there a bedrock on this thing? I'm 90% sure there's like a bedrock somewhere. I don't have to punch stone. I see BA. Ooh. Oh, where am I going? 70 second in queue. I've lost my mind already. Oh, time to punch stone. The thing I did not want to do. Nice. Can I get a nice and ah, Mister? Engaging mining content, yeah. This is the mining that you all came to see. I'm mining andesite with my fist. This is what it feels like mining, uh, the. When you're like 50 cold, or maybe like 90 cold, new update looking good. Yeah, back to the Stone Age. They they saw miners being too advanced. They were like, you got you got it too good. We need to bring you back to how mining was done. In the beginning, in the very be in the very beginning, get yourself a pickaxe instead of that drill. New top mining. You know what? Fuck it. We'll go in the opposite direction. New top mining equipment is just a quarry, an entire like machine, as opposed to a drill. You don't mind the ores personally. You just... You set up a machine to do it. Do it at scale. At mass scale. So just a really big minion? Exactly. A really big minion, but there's no, like, actual minion. 
You know, it's all robots. All machines. AI. Cue the, uh, the AI meme of, of Critical just going, AI, be scared. Ooh. It's AI. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm going to do it the mining way. We should have just mined the dirt block at the last step. Maybe. Maybe I should have. But I'm going to mine my way to the top. I refuse parkour. I mine. I stand ground. I stand my ground and I mine. Do you stand? Do you stand ground? Oh shit, I almost fell off. <laughs> You're on the plane, sir. Would you like to sit down? No, I'll stand. I'll stand. Mining wood blocks sounds like foraging. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Wait, hold on a minute. Could we turn fishing into mining somehow? Could we have like fish blocks and then we mine those? Can I upset all of like the the different types of activities in Skyblock and just turn them into mining? Because we kind of have mining dungeons with this update. We've got like the mine shafts. I don't know if that was their intention. Was that was that inten was that their intention to like make a mining sort of dungeon thing. Ice fishing? I guess so. Like, you mine the ice and then... It's, that's probably more fishing there, you know? Like, you mine the ice, but then that's the mining part done. And then you just have the fishing part. No, thank you. I like my fishing the way it is. But what if... But what if... As Vathan, what if... We put mining in your fishing. You know, you may not like it, but this is what peak fishing looks like. <laughs> Just fucking put your mining in the fishing. Oh, actually, yeah. Hold on a minute. So, let's say, instead of mining the ice and then fishing it, right? What if you fish up a whale? And instead of, like, you know, instead of it being, like, a mob or something, what if it places a whole bunch of, like, whale-type blocks near you, and then you have to mine that whale, you know? Because it's such a large catch. That you actually can't kill it. You just have to, like, scoop it up, essentially. <laughs> Carve out the organs. Exactly. <laughs> With a drill, you know? Because mining. <laughs> oh, dear. Just have, like, a blue whale. So you basically have to dissect it. Hey, kind of. It's a, it's a drill em up. A drill em up mini game. You, you get your drill and you. Oh, it's like the. Um, what do you call it? It's like the thing with Kudra where you go inside him and you mine his insides. Pause. Anyway, uh, you, you know, like that sort of thing. Except from the whale, you don't go in it, you just mine it. From like the outside, maybe. Oh, and you can get like blubber and stuff. You can get like oil. You can get whale oil. Oil in... Oh, you can fill the oil barrels. No way. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I'm cooking. I'm cooking with some... Some whale shit. Oh, so hello, awesome elite. Mining update, huh? When I need it, I get so tired of mining mithril all day. Well, right now, hopefully. I'm in. 
Oh yeah, I'm in and I'm not going to get timed out and sent to the abyss again. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, now I can do the thing. Uh. Oh god, oh fuck, oh shit. Okay, good. So. I have opals in here. Which means I can go to the mines, right? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Now I'm in. I can go into the mines. I can go into the... Uh, I keep on got them doing... There we go. I can go in here. I can take out my perfect opal. And I can go to the hub. And I can duplicate the shit out of it. I don't know whether it will drop in the next seven days. Probably not. But then, I can go back to the mines. Put the perfect opal back in the sword. How wonderful. Not needed, but I'm going to do it anyway. And now, I can put a perfect opal in there. Hell yeah. 5.5 5 true defense. Ooh. That's big. That's huge. Do we even have, um, what do you call it? Do we have perfect opals in the artifact of power on main server? I don't think we do, right? I'm not even... I don't, I don't know whether we have that or not. If we don't, then that's a new dub we can take. And it's going to make Blaze Slayer easier. If, it, if that is... If we don't have that, then, you know, that's a big dub for Blaze Slayer. <laughs> Your honour, I plead not uh I plead no to... Uh, Anything suspicious. Flawless, flawless, flawless. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you'd have it in your artifact from the start if we did. Uh, I don't remember what my artifact from the start had in it. Um, but yeah, if you're on main server, you can see. But yeah, I only have one more... Uh, I only have one more thing to get, and that is the perfect Peridot. So I need to mine a bunch of Peridot, because I, I watched the Derailius video, and apparently uh, the mine shafts that you get are related to the ores that you were mining at the time. So I need to find some Peridot, mine it, and then hopefully get that type of crystal from it. Made waypoints for all the new, uh, all of the new gems in Glacite tunnels. Nice. I I have some coordinates for a certain gem that I find particularly hard to find. But other than that, I just sort of I'm going off of memory for a lot of these things. Okie dokie, off we go. So, do we have a Peridot mineshaft? No, we don't. We have Amethyst. God damn it. You know, I'm starting to believe that, you know, <laughs> Derelius was wrong. Maybe Derelius wasn't, was not cooking on that particular point. Maybe he was not cooking. Maybe there was no cooking going on. Maybe he wasn't cooking shit. Or maybe. It's just still random. Maybe it's like a higher chance of it. You never know. Well, I'm off.
Peridot, here I come. There's a little bit more lag than there was before, but should be fine. Also, is there anything you guys want to see out of this new update? Anything you want me to test? Any new things? Bro does not need one trillion coins. That is true. I don't really need all the coins I have. But you know what? It's useful, man. I'll take it. I'll take the coins. I may not need it. That's not going to stop me. Fuck yes, let's go. Fucking finally. Uh, I don't know whether I actually have all the gems prepared or not. But we can see. I do not. Well, shit. Are there any changes in the Dwarven Mines or Crystal Hollows? Or is it just a new area? From what I've seen, it's just a new area. Don't think there's any changes in the old stuff. Well, I haven't really tested any, any of that, so... You never know, maybe there is stuff in the old areas that has changed. Oop, coin generator. Bit of duplication. Duplication glitch. And now, for my final trick, I will make a perfect peridot. And then duplicate it for everyone to have on the server. I'm going to start handing them out. <laughs> handing them out is like a public good. Ooh, I should have two. Just one to have in my accessory bag and then one to, to show off. Wish Centauri was part of actual Skylock server. A bit, make it a bit too easy, no? Can't be too easy in this game. Gotta have some challenges. Gotta have some 20 billion hour grinds. Okay, boys. And girls. And everyone. It's time. Boom. Okay. <laughs> That was, uh, that was very underwhelming. That was, uh, not what I wanted to see. I mean, it does look kind of nice, I'll tell you that. Anticlimactic, yeah, very, very much so. Well, that's, that's great. I... <laughs> I was hoping it would, like, do something. It was just like, cue the meme where the guy's prodding the the thing and he's just like, do something. But no. Didn't even Did it even change colour at all? Did it, like... I don't think it did. Got a change in real server. <laughs> I've sent you cords. Do I have to apply for alpha server or is it anybody who can join it? You can, anyone can join. You just join the alpha server and there may be a, maybe a little bit of a queue right now. Just a little bit of a queue. Maybe a, maybe a lot of a queue. <laughs> Might be like a while to get in, but you never know. Sometimes the queue goes quite quickly and then sometimes the queue is just like, nah, I'm never going to. Never going to advance ever again. Okay, well, that's done. Um, <laughs> I can't auction it. Bruh. God damn it. I was going to auction it for like a couple bill. So, uh, 
for Warp Forge. As a former 2B2T player, I kind of got used to queues. Same here. You sit in the queue for ages and then you get on and you're just like, ah, yes. Time to escape spawn and not die. <laughs> and then you do, and then you escape spawn and it's like, ah, shit, wait, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, what do I do now? <laughs> Lots of stuff, that's what. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, shit, I don't know. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do now that I'm an alpha? I don't even know what I'm doing now, man. How do you think the mining meta will change after this uh, or 1.20 update? Mining meta-wise, everyone's going to be using a Divin's Pendant while mining. Um, there may be something that you can use Dwarven Hand Warmers for. Because it's, you know, it's a way that we can get 15 speed. I mean, that would probably be quite useful mining in the uh, in the new area, regardless of um, it being 2.4 less fortune than the gauntlet. The 5 cold resistance probably is, you know, worth the, uh, worth the 2.4 less fortune. Yeah, you're going to need a lot of matchsticks, I think. Matchsticks are, are going to be a very needed thing. In, in this this get this <laughs> you need matchsticks and refined umber and umber is just from the update so just try and get as many matchsticks as possible I think we'll definitely want one of these something that needs mining speed like silverfish mining speed boost on, on MFM yeah it would probably be something like that But I don't know whether 15 speed is going to be the difference between instant mining and not with Soulfish MSB. But you never know, it could be. That is a thing. I don't know why they don't put these items in in Centauri. Like, why do I have to make these? Why can't I just get them from Centauri? Unless they are in Centauri, but I don't think they are. Yeah, they're not. I like that Hearth and Mountain XP and Power Gerard. I didn't know that they were, and I, I got to Hearth and Mountain 8 just from doing commissions. And it didn't take that long, so don't worry. For everyone in, you know, everyone's thinking like, oh, no, I have to do Hearth and Mountain again. I got Hearth and Mountain 8 very, very quickly. So you don't need to worry. Just do as many commission, just commissions, 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 commissions. You can just dupe the new gems, right? Yeah, you can dupe everything on alpha. I can dupe my divins draw. Yippee. <clears throat> Yippee. Oh look, this is the this is the gauntlet I want on the main server. Look at that. Chimera 5, Champion 10, Compact 10, everything 10. How wonderful. Daily commissions will help as well. I think the new commissions give 750. Yeah, that's Yeah, they give 750 um half and half and XP per commission. And the commissions are also quite easy to do. So that's why I think uh getting to half and 10 won't be that bad. But the problem with it is just like, is there really much here? Yeah. Only efficiency five. I don't get that. Like, I accidentally pressed the max items button, but it made my Divin's armor and my Divin's drills less max. They got rid of efficiency five, sorry, efficiency 10, and they also got rid of my jaded reforge. Fucking... Goddamn maxed update button. This sucks, man. Can't believe they've done this. Hmm. 
Bank is full, can't earn interest. Rip. Yeah, I saw that you sent the coordinates for the new gems. Gold mining be like. Mine. There's no dedicated gold, iron, and coal mine. Because they're all sep they're all in the same area. Why can't there be a gold? That's an old clip. That's an old clip. Uh, from ages gone by, back when uh, mining festers were originally a thing. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna send you my. Uh, I'm gonna send you my citrine spots as well. Awesome elite. You probably already have these, but fuck it. Just in case you don't have them. Okay, Mr. Makash, can you help me on main server? No, I cannot. Well then, uh, what do I do? Later? No, I can't. I don't have time later. I really stick the annoying thing is I don't really have time for this update cuz uni stuff but because it's such a massive mining update I'm just sort of like no nah, I can't I can't like not do this but uni wise I'm sort of like I I kind of have stuff to do as well with that so I'm really hoping that this update doesn't come out for for a while to be honest as long as you know the longer this update can wait, the better for me specifically, but obviously that's not really going to be a thing that the admins want to do, just wait until I can play the game. Which the devs would use mining speed boost as a standard against which uh, they decide what uh, to make special abilities. How much do they need to get paid in order for them? <laughs> uh, this along with the four uses or borderline uses special abilities is what uh, what happen when you have casual devs who don't play the game? Well, to be fair, the gemstone infusion ability is actually pretty good. This is a pretty good ability. That one... I don't know why they think 40 speed... Like, the low 10s of speed, they think, is, like, a lot for some reason. I don't know. For each enemy within 20 blocks... 40 mining speed for so many seconds, that's just not a lot of speed. I don't exactly know how much speed they think that's going to give you. Like, is it going to be a few hundred? If so, it's not really going to be that much. Especially if you've got lots of enemies around you. You're not going to really be able to mine that effectively. And plus, you won't even be able to get that many enemies in, in general anyway. If I got onto Alpha, I'm a legit duper hype. Well, that is a thing that you can do on Alpha. You can dupe whatever you want. I duped my everything, in fact. I duped everything. Just make sure you don't press the max button unless you know what you're doing, because um, it literally unmaxes some of your items. Depending. Compared to mining speed boost, it's nothing, yeah. I mean, it's very difficult to, to compare to mining speed, or to make a... <laughs> like, mining speed boost is a direct multiplier on your base mining speed it's just i've yeah the admins aren't gonna ever like beat mining speed boost but they keep on making abilities that give you mining speed boost in weird ways that maybe they think is useful but i don't know uh it should always be active yeah that would be a good that would be very good if it was like an always active ability then that would make sense but i think they want those two slots to be active abilities that you use In which case they do need to 
They do need to do stuff more like gemstone infusion than hazardous miner. I'm glad that at least we got one more useful ability, or potentially useful. I think there's definitely the potential that this one can be useful. And I think it is. Like, it literally will give you more pristine, and maybe it will be very niche or something, but I think that still is going to be a useful one. That one, not really. That one, never. That one, and never. But at least the top left one can potentially be good. The upper left one should be all gems on armors, pick and accessory. Special abilities are meant to be useful. I mean, to be fair, for 16, or oh, sorry, for 18 seconds, it also, uh, on blue cheese, is 75% for 18 seconds. So that is at least a little bit better. Um, but it is still only for 18 seconds. Like, eh. It probably wouldn't even be that broken if it was all your armor as well. Considering it's only for 18 seconds. Actually, if it was all the armor, that would be a lot of pristine. That'd be like another 4 pristine and 400 speed, 200 fortune. That is quite a lot. Gemstone infusion at the same as mining speed boost. It buffs pristine. I mean, the thing is that you can also use it in conjunction with Mining Speed Boost, or at least you should be able to. So you use that. 18 seconds is not that long, though. It's annoying, but anyway, you use that, and then you use Mining Speed Boost. That's going to make your Mining Speed Boost so good. Like, you'll have very, a very good Mining Speed Boost, and it'll give you a shit ton more pristine, and it's going to make your mining speed boost so much better. Do we reach any new insta-break speeds? That's a very good question. Um, probably not. Probably not. I don't think we do. No. The next thing on the agenda to insta-break is light blue mithril, I think. That's the next thing that we are yet to insta-break under normal circumstances. And I don't think we uh, we insta-break that yet. I think they will add some new armor or upgrade to armor. Uh... I don't know, I don't think so. The pets will be an interesting thing to look at. When they do the fossil pets, uh, it would be interesting to see what they do with that. We have to four-tick blue mithril first. We'll, we'll definitely have that with what we have now. Actually, no. What even is... Wait, our oh, 10k speed? Ooh. I mean, obviously, on mining speed boost we get there, but, like, base-wise... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Insta break barriers when my new favorite insta breaking block is the barrier. The new gems are all good at what they do. Could Onyx surpass Jasper? Well, the thing is with crit damage versus strength is that if you have an an overload of one then you'll want the other. So, if you have a surplus of strength, then Onyx will be better than Jasper. And if you have an over... over, If you have too much crit damage, then Jasper will be better. If you have too much strength, then Onyx is better. That sort of thing. I'm pretty sure Onyx is the... <laughs> uh... Wait, there's an Onyx Reforged Stone as well? Oh, no. Oh, no. They forgot. <laughs> they forgot they already made an onyx. No. <laughs> oh, no. In my experience, strength is usually the dominant one, but yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. It depends. Ooh. Could you put... 
Hmm. You could probably put some onyxes on frozen blades. And since it's so strength he heavy already. Ooh, wait, hold on. What's perfect onyx look like anyway? It's probably the same amount as strength. It'd be weird for it to be lower or higher. Okay, I'm just curious. I want to see what it looks like. Uh... Back from gaming, everyone should like the stream. True. Oh, wait, shit, it's giving crit chance. Never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. We can't see it yet. They still haven't made it crit damage. I know the first thing I make after getting into the tunnels is going to be the warp. Yes. That's probably what you should focus on. Although I think that might be behind Hearth Mountain 8 or 9 or 10. One of these. Because I didn't have it in the beginning. But now that I have Heart and Mountain 8, 9, 10, can't see uh, the requirements of things. Did you find something new from the update um, while I was gone? Uh, probably not. I mean, actually, no. We, we found out that the Relic of Power does not upgrade its rarity or anything when you have all of the gems in there. Which is quite sad. The harm XP rates should be the highest those commissions are lightning fast, yes. The Heart of Mountain XP that you get is incredibly quick. Uh, what can you do, Muse? What can you do? You know what I will do, though? I'm going to try and loot as many corpses as possible and see what the drop rates are for things. Do you mine and eth warp to the fire and back? Uh, you could do that, yeah. You can mine for a while. But don't let your cold get too ridiculous, I think. But I don't exactly know how much too ridiculous is. don't know whether it's like, oh, if you get to 20, then you should go back. Or if you get to 30, then you should go back. don't really know what the threshold for that should be, really. Did you know that Implodent was on, like, online seven hours ago? Is he interested in the new update, I wonder? Uh, what am I doing? I am getting these things. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> it's also pretty crack that you can get those extra six tokens even when you aren't doing the lace site tunnels. Yeah. Hold on a minute. Yeah, the six tokens are quite nice. Gives you some options, at least. What did the update add? Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff that I've been talking about throughout stream. And that I think I'd go insane if I repeated another time. <laughs> But lots of mining stuff. There really needs to be like a forum post listing everything. Just for like the sake of, you know, making sure that nothing has been missed. I'm sure there is like a forum post about that, right? Surely someone out there has made a forum post with all the changes. So he's not coming back to Skybot, but he may play the update for a little bit when it's on the main server. Yeah, that makes sense. It just depends whether he likes the update or not. Yeah. 
uh, anti rupture sorry, what did the update add? Yes, indeed. Do you see those emojis I sent? It means I'm enjoying the stream. Yes, Muse. I do see the emojis. Emojis are there. Right. Uh, fucking time. It's time, chat. It's time to go in the mine shafts. I'm going to mine Glacite. Ooh. Speaking of mining, I don't get how the fuck I'm 55th in ice when I'm 4th on the main server. I don't get the... I don't get anything on the server. You can't give yourself just a shit ton of a specific collection. Like, you can max out your collections, but that just maxes it out. It doesn't, like, give you more of a collection. Like, you can't just add in, you know... 200 billion ice collection to yourself. Oh, does Max Collection just give you... Yeah, okay, maybe Max Collection just gives you... what? It, what is it? 500k ice. That's probably what it is. Alright, boys. Time to do some Grave Robin. I'm Robin. I'm Robin the Graves. I'm going in. Aquamarine crystal found. This is the exact same. This is not what I wanted. I wanted to find bodies. I wanted to loot bodies. Not find crystals. Oh, here we go. Plus one bonus drop from half the mountain. Interesting. Powder and tungsten. That was mainly powder. You know what? It's very nice that I get gemstone powder as well, because I am quite lacking on that. Comparative to Mithril, of course. Yeah, that's the amount that's maxed. A thing that I'll need to change for this update is my auto pet rules, because I keep on getting silverfish added. Take the I want to loot dead bodies out of context, bro. Don't take shit out of context. Especially in this stream. Just because I'm looting. Look, if I don't loot the dead bodies, no one will. And that would be a shame if no one did. Uh, basically two days, then invest in, beju invest in Bejeweled Handles, yes. And maybe like one perfect opal, I think. Maybe more, because you can't really make them without the crystal anymore. We'll see. How long can you stay in the mine shafts until you have a uh, hundred cold, technically? Don't know how long that takes, though. All right, chat. Who's gonna have number one glacite collection? I call dibs. I call dibs on having number one glacite collection on main server. What do we say, chat? What are we saying? Can I call dibs on that? The glacite powder alone should motivate you in the early stages if anyone's going to do it, it's you. Hell yeah, man. I'm here to do it. Enchanted glacite is pretty okay. Yeah, the looting is the best, is probably going to be the best way to get glacite powder.
We love a bit of grave robbing. That one's already done. Oh, time to leave. For some reason I've mined 110,000 glacite on Alpha. Probably... Maxim Collections. How expensive are the keys with NPC prices? Uh, let's see. They require a bejeweled handle. I'm not sure what that is NPC wise. And then refined tungsten or refined umber. So that is 160 enchanted. I feel like this is expensive. <laughs> ah, shit, I need to put that in the auto compactor. Uh, I'm going to need more auto-compactor space. No. I'm going to have to get another auto-compactor chat. It's going to have to happen. The more shit they add into this game, the more auto-compactor space I need. <laughs> ah, Or I could just do recipe. Or I could just recipe tungsten. So NPC wise, hmm, two fifty k, two fifty k in umber, plus a bejeweled han handle, is uh, the umber key, and it should be the same because I'm pretty sure umber and the and tungsten are the same price. But that's going to be, you know, it depends on the demand for Umber and Tungsten on update day. Because people are going to be buying it at, a, at more than NPC. Most likely. I'm going to have to decide a single hole compactor to... Oh, I'm going to have to dedicate a single hole compactor to 12 roughs and 12 finds. Fits perfectly now. Yeah. I don't know whether I will or not, though, because I think I might just use the recipe function. Because I think the auto compactor makes sense if you're having it in your inventory a lot. But recipe may just make sense if you have a big enough regular sack. And then just once you're, once you need the enchanted, you just use the recipe function. No titanium collection is a big L. True. Still have titanium collection. Titanium would be a nice collection. But tungsten, you know what? Tungsten will be fine, I'm sure. A Lamel. You know what? It is what it is. So don't go for that on update day. I think update day. You'll want bejeweled handles for sure. Bejeweled handles are are going to be a key a key thing. Cause that's gonna be the keys, and the keys are gonna be good for powder grinding. You'll also want plates, which means you'll want mithril plates, which means you'll want golden plates, which means you'll also want more glacite jewels. Glacite jewels are gonna be a very key component in this update. Gold will be a little bit, and refined diamonds. And then in the mithril plate side, enchanted iron, and titanium, and mithril yet again. Interesting. So basically, 
glycite jewels. You need to get as many of those as possible. Because as much as, like, yeah, if there are more things than glycite jewels in those recipes. Glycite jewels are probably the only thing that isn't farmed to the ever loving shit out of, you know? So that would probably be the main thing to farm on the main server. Or at least to just get a shit ton of. And having said that, I think I shall maybe go to the main server? Maybe? Do I end stream and go to the main server, start grinding? Start making some, you know, start mining some mithril? Start buying a bunch of glacite jewels? I don't know. Hmm. I feel like I still haven't done everything with the fossils there. Start grinding. Mithril is cracked at the moment. I have seen the prices of Mithril and that is making me want to mine. <laughs> I swear to God, if I had free time or more free time is, is the better way of putting it. I do have enough free time to stream right now. But if I had more free time to like grind the shit out of just everything in this update, I swear to God, I would be mining all the time, man. I'd be mining so much. Yeah, Mithril is kind of crashing right now. It was at 1.6k for like a few hours, and now it's down to 1.3 again. Well, I mean, you know, 1.3 is still really good for Mithril, but 1.6k, it was at 1.6k for ages. Oh yeah, there's, there's another thing that I need to talk to Arval about, but I I guaranteed I'm going to forget it after I've ended this stream. I need to talk to Arval about something, but yeah, I'm, I just, no, I'm going to forget. Someone needs to remind me after I end stream. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to go back to Grave Robin. I'll probably do that for a while just to see what the loot's looking like. And then I'll end stream. What do you say, chat? You want to Grave Rob with me? You want to go Grave Robin? Or just DM him now? It'd probably be a little, uh, you know. It's something I don't want to do on stream, and it would take, you know. I'm going to do it off stream, man. I want to focus on stream, then DMing Arva. What's best from corpses? Probably the books. The Enchanted books are probably one of the good drops from these corpses. Because I haven't gotten any. But Deradius got it on his like, first one. Also, that's the first Opal Crystal I found. So I'm glad that they've added that, because we didn't have that before. <laughs> we did not have that before today. Wait, is that another guy? I could have sworn I saw another person. I heard that the Shattered Locket for Divin Amulet can be gotten from the Fossil minigame. Is that true? I don't know about that. But that would make sense. 
and annoyingly i would mean to i would mean i would need to do that whole fossil thing maybe i should oh i should do that i should do that on alpha yeah i'm gonna do that what do i even need from it in the forge so forge I currently have somewhere. Yeah, there we go. I have a, I have a chisel. Uh, to get a reinforced one, I need... Oh, God damn, the jewels apples. I didn't throw away my jewels, did I? I mean, it doesn't really matter if I did, because I can just dupe shit. The fossil patterns are all out. Yeah. I know the fossil patterns. But I want to upgrade my chisel. Because if you do get the thingy uh, to make the necklace from doing the fossils, shit. Alright. Do that. Warp forge. Make a bejeweled handle. Wait, shit. Did it even... What? There we go. Make a bejeweled handle. Dupe the handle. Warp forge. It would make it a lot easier if I had more inventory space, so I'm gonna get rid of all the keys. We need umber plates and tungsten plates. Uh. Okay, I need refined umber. I had enchanted tungsten somewhere, didn't I? Yeah. So we make refined version of you, refined version of you. And then we dupe them. How nice it is to dupe stuff, isn't it, chat? How convenient. And we make the plates, so umber plate, umber, tungsten, amalgamation. I have amalgamation somewhere. And then we make a tungsten plate, an umber plate. I really would like a mithril plate so I could make perfect plates. Oh, God. Ah. Uh. Is it true that gems are two per? No, they're they're three per still.
And we make a reinforced chisel. Now to make the glaze site chisel we need Oh wait, I have that. Uh glaze site amalgamation Mithril plate. Ah oh, god damn I need a mithril plate. Uh oh, shit. I was hoping I wouldn't have to make that. So to to make this I need a golden plate. And to make this, I need five glaceite jewels, which I threw away one of my glaceite jewels, didn't I? Fucking god damn it. It's a pain in the ass. I just I just need one. Just need one. I can dupe the shit out of it. Please. I just need one clay site jewel. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't know why I threw away the clay site jewel. Ooh, what the fuck? New area? I guess it's not. Are the keys reusable? No. They are consumable. Magic find setup would be really useful right now. Maybe. Maybe I should put on my sorrow armor. And max out my... Uh, my... What do you call it? What the fuck do you call it? The Daedalus Axe. Max out at Centauri. You know what I really appreciate? I think they've made a lot more... A lot more Ice Walkers here. Because there seems to be a shit ton more. I'm never getting rid of that Glacite Jewel ever again. You realise this, right, chat? This Glacite Jewel is going to be by my side. I'm never getting rid of that ever again. Fucking hell, man. That Glacite Jewel means so much to me now. Okie dokie. So, to make the glacite chisel, I need mithril plate, glacite amalgamation, and bejeweled handle. So the only thing I need is a mithril plate. Mithril plate is from that, so refined diamonds and enchanted gold blocks. I, I am suffering here. Refined diamonds, right? Refined diamond. Fine diamonds. Hello, game man. Hello, Shaw. I love duping. My favorite activity. Anyways, off to the forge yet again. We make a refined diamond. Now we duplicate the gold. <laughs> uh, now we duplicate the gold blocks. Now we go to the forge. Hmm. 
Now we duplicate the refined diamonds. Now we go to the forge. And we make a gold plate. And we make a mithril plate. We need a refined min mithril and enchanted diamond block. Iron, not diamond. So we need iron. Uh, okay, iron. And yeah, refined myth mithril. The amount of shit that I'm duping. My god. Mithril. Uh, no enchanted mithril. But lots of regular mithril. Now we go in here, take the, the enchanted mithril. Now we go to the forge. The levels. The levels of crafting. We find. And then we go to the hub. And then we dupe this. And then we go to the forge. And I think I can make this now. Oh shit, titanium. I did not need that much. You know what? I can just keep it in the sack. And we dupe it. Oh, there we go to the forge. And then we make the mithril plate. And then we do the mithril plate. Let's go, Makash. Hello, Hyper. Uh, my favorite activity, duping. Forge. Fuck, what was I doing? <laughs> right, now we can make the Glacite chisel. Where did I put the handles? Oh, oh dear. Oh god, no. Please. Where did I put the handles? Okay, I put the handles here. Now, we can make the glacite chisel. And with the glacite chisel, we can make the perfect chisel. We need a perfect plate and a bejeweled handle. So how do you make a perfect plate? That's how. So now I've made the perfect plate. I want to dupe it a bit. 
just for convenience. Oh, okay, they don't stack. Good to know. And now we go to the forks. And now we make the perfect chisel. And there we go, 22. But you can put gems in it. So I'm going to go to the base. And then I can find out what the gems do, because I kind of forgot, to be honest. Uh, you get a chance to get an additional chisel charge with aquamarine. You get more dust. I don't give a shit about dust, because... Not on the main server. That might be good. Hmm. I'm going to go with the aquamarine then. So we go to the mines. And we take out Aquamarine. And then we dupe the shit out of Aquamarine. And then we go to the mines. And we can then put stuff in here right yeah we can and now we go to base and take some suspicious crap and you know what? i want to dupe it a little bit more And now we go to the base. And now we can test out maxed out uh, excavationing. Now how long was that chat? That didn't take too long. <laughs> that didn't take too long to do. Am I right? <laughs> that didn't take too long. I just got here, but could you take a look at the new perks and see what they give that could affect money? If you mean the Heart of the Mountain perks, there's nothing new here that would affect money. You don't need to worry. Um, I mean, maybe, depending on the price of Glacite and Tungsten and Number, you could argue that those are probably pretty good for it. Uh, maybe the Eager Adventurer would be good, because more mining speed. Like, 200 mining speed in, in the Glacite mine shafts is... Is that good? Honestly, you probably want those two together. I feel like if you're going to be doing a Glacite mine sh mining specific build, you probably want both of those. Maybe there's supposed to be some harmonization with the Hazardous Miner perk then as well. Maybe, but it's not really that good of a perk, to be honest. It doesn't really give uh, enough mining speed, I think personally. Uh, especially it only gives it for like a few seconds. It's like... Yeah. Um, you probably want to go that way. Maybe. Although you really want Excavator when you're doing a shit ton of suspicious crap. Like the thing is, this perk is only good for when you already have the shit and you want to uncover shit from that shit as opposed to getting the shit itself, right? Polar, stop, stop macroing, bad. Uh, gemstone infusion ability affects gems technically, but I don't know if that would be meta. Uh, this is a good perk, yes, that is very good. 
Uh, what is Hypixel even about? Even about? Uh, it's about fun and gaming. Don't play on main SMH. We need to test money making methods. Yeah. Can we get Heart of Mountain presets, please? That would be nice. I would actually really like that. Instead of having to click on a shit ton of stuff every time you preset your tree, it'd be so good if you could just have a preset for things. That'd be so good. It'd be so nice. It'd be so good. I think you kind of want to avoid these two, to be honest. If you're maxed out in mining, that is. You probably want to avoid these two. Maybe. Actually, you probably want powder buff for glacite powder. Can't you combine gemstone infusion with mining speed boost? Yes, I talked about that earlier in the stream. Uh, so yeah, you want when you're doing what I'm doing, what I'm about to do right now. When you're like actually claiming all the suspicious crap in the excavator, you want to use excavator and dust collector. How the fuck you get those two together? Because they're kind of far apart in the tree. I don't know. But you can figure out, I'm sure. You can get there. You probably want a tree specifically for doing the suspicious scrap. Which is a bit annoying. Because then you need to reset your tree specifically for that. But you could just do it a bunch at once and then just go back to a normal tree once you're done. Is Glacial worth anything to the NPC? It, uh, Glacite is worth 12 coins per to the NPC. Uh, the actual individual Glacite pieces. By the way, what's max Glacite powder for perks in Scalblock XP? Uh, for Scalblock XP, it is 20 million. For perks-wise, it depends what perks you get, and you can't get all of them. So, I mean, you probably could if you... Yeah, if I got rid of, like, all these things, went straight up and tried to get as many of these perks as possible, probably could get a decent amount of them. Um... But there's also a good amount of perks that help you get powder, so you don't really need to put powder in them, I guess? I don't know. What I do know is that that took so much goddamn powder that I don't know whether it's worth it or not, to be honest. Uh, but 20% chance to get an extra item when looting a frozen corpse is pretty good. It's a pretty good perk for this update. It is pretty nice. Can't wait till it's on main. This is actually hype. Hell yeah, Perla. Hell yeah. Anyways, I'm going to do this without any... I'm going to be doing like a few suspicious scrap things without any of the perks in here that help you with it. But what you should do is you should use... Uh, you should use Excavator and Dust Collector when, when doing what I'm about to do. And I, I'm pretty sure those are the only things that you need. Or the only things that can help you with this. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's only two perks. So, off I go. Oh. Am I bad at the game? Like, what the fuck? What kind of fossil is this? There's two in the middle of nowhere. And by the time I figure out what fossil it is, I've got no charges left. This is why I think it's bullshit. <laughs> it's fucking bullshit, man. Like, this one doesn't even have a fossil in it, so I just... Ah. Uh. And then I had six charges remaining. But I got a spine fossil. And you know what's great about a spine fossil, chat? Is that I already fucking have it. <laughs> I already have it, goddammit. Ah. Mad cause bad. Actually, I, I probably am quite bad at this. I'm skill issuing heavily on, on the excavator. Just fucking shit. Uh, you need two pets. F Wait, you need two for pets, don't you? 
I'm not sure. Gambling at its finest, yeah. Hello, Cooper. I do feel like a bit of a gambler, just re inputting the the suspicious stuff. Maybe I should do that that perk. <laughs> Maybe I should redo my tree and do the perks. What do I even get? I just get... The thing is, this helps with with um, reclaiming more suspicious scrap from failed suspicious scrap attempts. Because on a main server, you're probably not going to be speedrunning through it. You probably want to try and get as much from your suspicious cra scrap. It's so tempting to say crap. I I'm just... It is so goddamn tempting. But you're also going to have this. A 50% chance to get more uh, fossils is quite big. Wait. Yeah. A 50% chance to get a fossil. Or a 50% chance to get... Increased chance to get a fossil. God damn. What the fuck is it supposed to look like? I'm on 90.9. Ah, oh, god damn. What is it supposed to look like? What did I miss? Where's the one tile that I didn't get? Ah, oh, you're fucking kidding. Oh. 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 I got it. Let's go. I'm so good at this. I'm so shit. I'm so fucking shit at this. I got a clubbed fossil. Apparently you get a lot of... Sh you got a lot... Of, yeah. Apparently you get a lot of half and mountain XP when you get these fossils. But the thing is I won't be able to know because I'm already half and mountain 10. So that's mildly annoying. But it is what it is. Does anyone know how much Hearth Mountain XP when you get a fossil is? Did anyone know? Anyone done this? Does anyone know? I'm guessing you didn't watch CS2 Major today. It was so hype. No, I don't watch CS2 Majors. I do watch Smash Bros, though. And I did watch Collision. Did anyone else watch Collision? I forgot what happened at Collision. Wait, what? I'm I'm pretty sure something interesting happened at Collision, but I forgot. <laughs> uh, what happened at Collision? Oh, let me look at that. Uh, look, eh, let me look that up. Because I'm pretty sure something interesting happened at Collision, but I forgot. Collision 2024, what was there? Who won that event? Spargo won it. Oh yeah, Shaddock did really well. Sonics wasn't at Collision, but Shaddock did really well. And everyone's like, oh my god, Corrin. Corrin is so good. Which, to be fair, Corrin is a good character. Yeah, Collision was good. Anyways, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> the fuck am I doing? Uh, no 
fossils. I'm just going to get no fossils, I know it. Oh, I know this one. Yes! There we go. I actually have a memory chat. Let's go! I have a, I have a bit of a memory. <laughs> My memory isn't shit. We've got the webbed fossil. Okay, so it's the same reward every time. I don't, I don't think I'm going to continue with that. I don't know whether it will give you the same amount of heart or amount of XP per thing there. Do not know, but I think what I will do is I'll go back to doing the Umber and Tungsten key things. I know this one. Just get hit all the damn time. So for these ones, apparently you need a skeleton key. So I got an ascension rope, enchanted tungsten, lots of powder. Interesting. And... It would make sense for that one to be like the only, yeah, that's going to be the only corpse in this one. Party is in position two of the queue. You can tell it uses the dungeon system. Can you get the pets yet? I don't think you can. I don't know how you're supposed to get the pets. Oh, I think I know that you get them from the fossils, but I don't know how. <laughs> you just get the fossil and then. I guess we'll see. Because I think if um, we do get the pets, then Dorelius will probably get to it first. You mining so hard, my light started flickering. <laughs> the mining is so powerful, it came through the screen. It started uh, interfering in real life. It does seem like the the glacite tunnels are quite easy to get. Because I didn't, from what I remember, before I had Heart and Mountain 10 and the abilities and all that sort of thing, it didn't take long for me to mine enough to get one. How the fuck the...
Seven six. That's a lot more speed. There we go. Oh, gone with the wind. They buff chance on alpha for tunnels. That would make sense, yeah. Because it does seem quite quick to get. Yeah, like, that was... That was very quick. But I, it does concern me, then, how much they've buffed it. Because if it is so quick for alpha, how, you know, how long are they intending us to mine for to get a tunnel? When it actually releases on main. How rare are these tunnels going to be? I wonder. I still haven't any, I haven't got any enchanted books from those guys. Did the Aurelius get lucky, or do I just... Uh, am I doing something wrong? How did it come he got a book so quickly? He got, like, two, I swear. Don't know if it came from two separate corpses, but... He got books, man. I have not gotten books. But I do think this is the... This is probably the best way to get powder. What books did they drop? They drop the Paleontologist enchantment and the... Uh, the Ice Cope enchantment. I forget what it's called. But I like the idea of it, of calling it Ice Cope. It's how much you can cope with the, with the cold, with the iceness. Ice cold. There you go. Can we rename this to ice cope? Ice copium. How much ice copium do you have? I've got 20 ice copium. I've got 10.2 ice copium on right now. A hundred and twenty-one. Ooh, well, that's actually pretty good. Maybe we can do the mithril strat where you mine a little bit in, and then do picobulus. I think that would help quite a bit more with this type of thing, where the blocks actually take quite a while to mine. So each block is, you know, it is actually quite valuable to get more out of a picobulus. Maybe. Yeah, precision mining might might be a thing. Syntax man. A man of syntax himself. Mods get Cookie on the optimization. I feel like if, if Cookie, you know, if Cookie wants to, he can do some, uh, you know, a lot of optimization here. There's lots of stuff to tinker around with in this update. I'm here for looting. I'm going to be looting the dead bodies. I'm grave robbing chat. Top tier grave robber. Hey, there we go. Ice cold. You love to see it. So it is quite rare then, I think. Maybe not that rare, but decently rare.
But if you do get the ice cold um, enchantment. Then you do get a little bit more cold resistance. Quite nice. Get a main spelunking in Skyblock when this comes out, going deep in them tunnels. I am a grave robbing main in high pits of Skyblock. My main goal is to rob them graves. I keep on thinking it's like a teleport pad. I don't know why. I just see those end portals and it's ingrained in my head to just go on top of them and then just jump or something to try and teleport. Okie dokie, so... I want to duplicate everything. Duplication is my passion. Grave, prof grave robbing is also profitable IRL, so it makes sense. This is uh, this is the Skyblock way. We all grave rob because it is profitable. I should add insider trade. We do have insider trading in Skyblock. What do you mean? <laughs> We're already there, Syntax Man. We're literally there. Now, I don't know why the max enchantment button decided to put Ancient on my stuff, but didn't decide to put Ice Cold on any of my stuff. Don't know, but it is what it is. Uh, because I'm going to put it on myself. Now, I have ten more cold resistance. Long time no see. Hello, I'm Melizen. In Twitch. Okay, how much do I have now? I have 20 cold resistance. What is that looking like? Does it say what it does? <laughs> I don't think it necessarily says what it does. It doesn't say, like, how much it uh, reduces the cold. You wonder if pyramid schemes are allowed on Sky on Hypixel. I mean, I haven't said... I don't see any rules that disallows them. Oh, here I go grave robbing again. Here I go mining again. I mean, when the update comes out, here I go mining again. <laughs> Shit. Surely that can't be the only one here. Surely not. This can't be shit. I refuse to believe this one is that shit. Nah. No way. No way. Really? This one only had one, and it gave pretty much nothing. You're kidding me. Nah, surely not. Nah, that's fucking bull. You're fucking... <sighs> I'm just sad. I was hopeful. I was thinking like, yes. I'll be able to, you know. I'll be able to get like multiple. But unfortunately, no.
Uh, did they nerf gem prices? No, they haven't, Syntax Man. Oh, now I remember. Now I remember why I was doing the um, the excavation thing. Or the, the chisel thing. It was to try and get the necklace. I don't know if anyone on the alpha has gotten the necklace yet. I want to I want to test out the necklace because you know it's the new best mining necklace. I want to see what it looks like with uh, with two perfect jades and a perfect amber on it. You know, fully maxed. Put quantum and and everything else on it. Hmm. <laughs> uh, rip rift necklace you know what's bullshit then I've gone through all of that to do and get the rift necklace and I don't even need it I don't even need that necklace anymore because they introduced a better mining necklace. Like, like what's the point? <laughs> what's the point, man? Why did, why have I done the rift? Why have I done any of the rift? Okay, Poe the Void books, but, but why? Why have I done any of the rift then? <laughs> when mining belt though. Yeah, that is true. What mining wise, we have a good necklace. We have a cloak that gives mining fortune. Uh we have a mythic belt. But we could have a similar situation where we get a mining specific thing that just makes the mythic version go out uh and never come back. And we have two types we have two gauntlets that we could use. We have two mining gauntlets, one for speed and one for fortune. But in every case, the fortune one's probably better. That's nice. That's just nice to see. Hmm. Maybe someone asked, but uh, by any chance, hot chocolate from Crimson Island doesn't give anything against the cold. Uh, probably not. I think they would have said, but then again, they didn't say anything about drinking water in the um, the what do you call it? Uh, in the magma fields. There you, there you go. They didn't say anything about drinking water in the magma fields, from what I remember. But yeah, we'll check it out after this mine shaft. Usually there is one there, so I. See, there was three in this mine shaft. If only it made sense like that, yeah. Okie dokie.
Just asking because in Crisala's drinking water reduces heat, yeah. I did check that one, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see then. Hot chocolate from the Crimson Island. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. I don't remember where that is, but I will guess it is. I think this is where you do brewing stuff. Uh, no, you can't use AOTV in the mine shafts. That's why I use jump boost. Or oh, that's why I have jump boost on. You can use AOTV everywhere else, though. You just can't in the mine shafts. Auction master, there's the brewers. The brewers, the brewers guild. Where is it again? <laughs> chat, where do you, where do you buy it, chat? The thing is, you can get like hot chocolate from the hub. Surely I don't need to go to the nether for that. I'm the bartender, man. I'll just get hot chocolate from him. Well, actually not hot chocolate. I can get coffee. Can't drink it, though. Where's the hot chocolate, then? Ah, uh, yeah, true. Well, that's a cosmetic. Hot chocolate, hot chocolate. From Grog or whatever. Ooh. Well, thank you. We'll test out your theory. Uh, skeleton premium. Hey, yeah. Oh, you can drink it, yeah. All right, let's see. Warp based. Does hot chocolate reduce cold? I highly doubt it does, because otherwise it would be a little bit too easy. And I'm, I think they want cold to be a little bit more of a uh, of a thing than heat was in the Crystal Hollows. Because with in the Crystal Hollows, heat isn't really that big of an issue. It just stops you from, you know, not using a bow down when down in the magma fields. But you want to use bow anyway, so. Yeah, I didn't think so. Doesn't do anything. There is a way to reduce heat, though. Or to gain heat, I guess. But Well, I say there is a way. There's, there's two ways. There's two good ways. Two really good ways. In fact, one really good way that I think... Might just be the financial, the the way to like brute force it through money. Can I? No, I can't. I was like, can I go in with him? Maybe. Maybe I can go in. But I want to try out the drill part. I did dupe my driv my drivens. Yes, I drew I drooped my drivens. But yeah, I've got my Drivens here, and I'll try out the new uh, drill part.
Oh wow, I found my way out. I'm so good at, at navigating, chat. I am a good navigator. Interior crocodile alligator. Uh, fuck, what was I doing? <laughs> the forge, that's what I was doing. So, to craft the new thing, you need an opal gemstone, fuel tanks, and tungsten plates. I should have those. Oh, fuel tanks, though. Where are they? Enchanted coal. Your fuel consumption will be halved because no sunny side there. I don't use sunny side anyway, so to me it's normal. To me it's just normal fuel consumption. Forge. And back to the whole forging thing. So we make a fuel tank. I thought I needed a lot more fuel or coal. Never mind. Fuck it, I'll keep one stack. Uh you want to use sunny, right? No, you can't use sunny and the and the new thing. It's only one or the other. And back to the forge. Do do do. Perfect opal. Yeah, perfect opal. Yeah. There we go. Swap? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, but eh, I don't know whether that will work. You could try it. But I don't think that would work. Yeah, drill part. Okie dokie. So, in the bin you go. Now that I have a tungsten keychain module, I would actually kind of like to have fuel in it, to be honest. It's not a lot of fuel, but I'll take it. Uh, and now back to base. And I want to see how that does then. 500 fuel for one heat isn't that good. Hmm. I also want to try out the furnace. I need sticks, though, and I don't have those. Anyone have matchsticks on Alpha? Please let me know. Because I wouldn't be able I won't be able to test otherwise. So we're at minus three. Ah. So you can you can get mine shafts through mining the hard stone here, or whatever stone that is. Cobblestone, maybe? Seems to have given just a random one. Uh 
Uh, by not that good, you mean useless. That is looking a bit useless, maybe. Maybe just a bit. Ooh, I got a paleontologist book. I already have paleontologist 5 on my drill, but it increases the chance of finding crap. By a good percent, I think, at level 5. Can you stay warm with hard stone? Uh, I will see once I leave this thing. But it doesn't look like it. Like mining the stone. I don't know if there's really a good place to mine lots of the stone. But let's try. Let's try to just mine and keep ourselves warm from mining. So minus three. 500 fuel is quite a lot to go through, to be fair. Minus three. I feel like it's just not going to be worth. Yeah. You're not going to mine enough to, to do it. Minus six. Minus seven. You can't instant mine airborne either. Minus eight, minus nine. Minus ten. Minus eleven. <laughs> this is just not really a good place to mine a bunch of hard stone. Whatever stone that is. There's too much ore around. Du Ooh, gems, I think, use more fuel. I think. I think gems use more fuel. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Yeah, I don't think the module is it. Maybe. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, nah, I don't think it's good. It doesn't seem good enough. Like, actually trying to mine, it's just, I don't think that's worth it. I do think that the furnace may be worth it, because 15 heat, or 15 cold, whatever, that is quite a big deal. But I don't think the upgrade module is worth it. Especially considering that blue cheese just is so good anyway. But if you were, okay. If you were to try that method, I think maybe you could try it on, you know, a, a throwaway drill, like a uh, like a ruby drill, you know. 
if you put that module on a ruby drill maybe if you're able to somehow break a lot of stuff then maybe you just need to use a bunch of fuel but honestly it's actually kind of hard to use 500 fuel in this area the thing is if you jump up and down while mining you don't uh, get to instant mine as much syntax man and if you jump up and down while mining you need to be using that module on a divins draw if you want to even attempt to instant mine so so i i don't think that module is good they probably need to buff that module but also they can't buff it too much to the point where you just use that module a bit and then you know your your heat just goes down and then you continue mining as normal but also like i didn't really notice whether it was actually doing anything while i was using it maybe maybe i didn't notice it going down because it doesn't like it doesn't actually take an increment off maybe it just sort of does it in the background and then slowly just makes it so that you gain cold slower just because you you are taking uh cold off every certain amount of fuel it's just i don't know don't think that module is really worth it I think the furnace has a good chance of being worth it though what even else is there in the forge There's that one module in the furnace and something else, maybe. Mm. You received a mining fortune buff from the mine shaft mayhem perk. Interesting. Interesting. There are probably hearth and mountain setups to mine in these areas. Maybe. Maybe the module will be good for that sort of thing. Maybe it's just like every little bit helps. Because you want to stay in this area as long as possible while you're using your buffed or while you're using your heart and mountain tree to buff specifically this area yeah. also how the fuck have i not found literally anything there is no this is a dead bodiless area. <laughs> this is the safest mine what what the fuck? Safest mine known to man. No dead bodies to be found. Yeah, I think that is everything I wanted to test, though. I don't think there's anything else. The only things that maybe I'm thinking about from now on is the uh, is the necklace and the pets. The necklace and the pets are, are the only things that I don't think I've fully done in this.
But I think I shall leave that for later. So thank you all for watching. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, follow on Twitch. And be excited for Heart of Mountain 10 when that comes out. I guess. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next stream. Goodbye.